Hola, hola estudiantes. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás tú? Bacon y yo estamos muy que muy bien. But at the same time, estamos un poco tristes. ¿Verdad, Bacon? Hmm. ¿Por qué? Oh, well, because this is going to be our last, last lesson of Spanish for this school year. Okay, so without further ado, let's start the last Spanish lesson that it's, or that I called, Hola, Verano. Hello, Summer. Listos en tres. Listos en dos, listos en uno, y listos en cero. Wow, okay, so for this last lesson, Bacon and I have prepared the final, final game. So this game, and here, look at Bacon, Bacon is telling you, Let's prove your knowledge in Spanish. <laughs> Let's see how much Spanish we've learned during the school year, okay? El juego final. Now, how are we going to play this game? What I've done is I've made a wheel and we're going to spin the wheel and in the wheel there's going to be six different topics or projects that we've been working on um, during Spanish. For each topic, we're going to have one question. There's going to be questions that are um, 10 points and there's going to be questions that are 20 points. So um, I would suggest to do this game maybe with an older brother, older sister, with your dad, with your mom, um, with your grandma, somebody that can help you count how many points you have in the end. So yeah, the goal of the game is for you to have fun, for you to remember quite what, what were the few or the main keywords that we've learned in Spanish. Let's start. Okay, listos? Time for the wheel. Okay. We got colores. Ok, listos con los colores. Chan, chan, chan. Vamos a ver cuál es la primera pregunta. Let's see what's the first question. Ok, so la primera pregunta dice así. How do we say pink, pink en español? And look, this one. It's 20 points, okay? So if you get it right, you're gonna write down 20 points. If you get it wrong, you can put a zero. There's no, um, we don't take points. So we have rojo. So how do we say pink in Espanol? Do we say rojo, azul, amarillo, rosa? Verde. Pause the video if you like to have a couple more seconds. And then I'm going to show you what's the answer. Okay, so the answer was rosa. Yes, this color is rosa. Esto es rosa. Esto es rosa. So if you have this one right, um, write down 20 points. Good job. Okay, let's see what's the next topic going to be. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, very close, but animales. Okay, empezamos con animales. Okay, here it says, do you remember the name of this animal in Spanish? This one over here. Do you remember how do we say this animal in Spanish. How do we say fish in Spanish? And this one, it's a little bit less. It's 10 points, but still, that's a lot of points. So, think about, do we say oso? Do we say perro? Do we say caballo? Or do we say pez? 
Again, you can pause the video if you need a couple more seconds. Because I'm going to tell you what's the answer. Okay, so the right answer wasn't oso, wasn't perro, wasn't caballo, it was pe. And I know some of you remember this word because there's like, there's some sweets or there's a candy that it's called pe. Hmm. So again, if you did this one right, you can add 10 more points to your total score. Yes. Let's go to the next one. Yes, yeah, spin, spin, spin. What's the next topic going to be? ¿Cuál será el siguiente? Ooh, casa, house. Okay. Okay, listos para la casa. And we did this one a couple weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago. So this one should be a little bit easier. Okay, so the question for this topic, la pregunta de casa, says, Profe Natalia es arriba of the book. Sí, está arriba del libro. But where exactly? What part of the house? So, what do you think? What's this part of the house? Is it a kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, dining room? What is it? Oh, wait, but remember, we need to say it in Spanish. So, is it cocina? Es el baño? O es el dormitorio? Hmm. Again, you can pause the video if you need a couple more seconds. Because I'm about to show you the answer. Okay, so the answer is dormitorio. Dormitorio. So again, if you did this one right, add this extra 10 points to your total score. Yay! Let's go and see what's the next topic. We have only three left. What is it going to be? Oh, okay. Fruta. Fruit. That was our last one. Okay, so the question now, it has to be what well, it's about. Fruta. Fruit. Ready? Okay, look at Prof. Natalia. She is ready to serve dinner in a restaurant. Okay, the question is how do we say strawberry in Spanish? How do we say this in Espanol? Do we say naranja? Do we say fresa? Do we say plátano? Do we say piña? Mm -hmm. Remember again, you can pause the video to have a little bit more time to think because I'm about to show you the answer. Okay, 10 points, 10 puntos para ti si tú dijiste fresa. Fresa means strawberry. Felicidades! Okay, we have two more topics left. left. What's going to be? Oh, okay, figuras, shapes, nice. Okay, pues empezamos con figuras, shapes. Entonces, this question says, what shape, qué figura, has the sandwich? Sandwich that Prof. Natalia has here. ¿Cuál es la forma? ¿Cuál es la figura? What's the shape? So... Do you think it's círculo, cuadrado, o triángulo? Mm, piensa, 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 think, think, think. So again, you can pause the video if you need a couple more seconds. Because I'm about to show you what's the answer. Muy bien, perfecto. 10 points for you, 10 puntos para ti. Si escogiste triángulo, triángulo. This one is pretty, pretty, um, they look, or they sound very similar, and they look very similar to, to the English word triangle. 
So yeah, triangulo, triangle. So the last one is ropa, clothes. Okay, ready? Okay, empezamos with the topic ropa, clothes. Okay, the question says, do you remember what is the word in Spanish for this item? So how do we say this in Spanish? So these in English are sunglasses, okay? How do we say it in Spanish? Do we say sandalias? Do we call this gorra? Gafas de sol? Paraguas. And I'm going to give you a clue here where bacon is. Here is telling us what's the weather like in this picture. So, está nubloso. See the nubes, all the clouds. It's cloudy. Está nubloso. Y soleado. And you can see that it's sunny too. Y hace mucho calor. And it's really, really hot and warm. So, if you need a couple more seconds, you can pause the video because I'm about to show you what's the answer. Bien! 10 points for you if you pick gafas de sol. Because it's sunny, está soleado, we need these gafas to protect us from the sun. See? ¿Sí? Okay, so that was the last one. Now it's time for you to... No, what's your results? What's your total score for this game? Bien! Okay! If you got between 0 points and 20, so entre 0 y 20, hmm, look at the picture of Prof. Natalia. Don't be disappointed. Learning a language takes time. A lot of time. Keep it up. Keep working on it. Good job. Okay. However, if you got between 30 to 50 points, 30 a 50 puntos, muy bien! Well done! Your Spanish skills are improving tremendously. And if you got from 60 to 70 points, de 60 a 70 puntos, Genial! You are a master of Spanish. Congratulations! Okay, oh. estudiantes, it's time to say adios, but gracias and remember and have a wonderful verano. Bacon and I, we're going to miss you so, so much. But now it's time to enjoy the summer. Enjoy el verano. Disfruta. Adios. Adios, estudiantes. Adios.